Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Florence and welcome to Zillion Your Life. Today's video is going to be a fragrance video and today I'll be going over 10 tips on how to curate your perfect fragrance collection. Especially if you're just starting out, if you're a beginner and you're getting into the world of fragrance and you'd like to have a small curated niche collection of all your lovely favorite fragrances, this video is for you. <laughs> I stumbled into the world of fragrance about two years ago now and my collection has grown and changed and evolved over those two years. I have fallen in love with fragrance. I love how you can basically attach memories to scents and each time you smell them they remind you of a particular vacation, a particular person, a particular place. It's really interesting. Also, I just think that the world of fragrance is a world full of art. The way notes are put together to create different fragrance scents is interesting to me. So I really enjoy that whole world, the world of layering fragrances. I love it. I love it all. <laughs> so today I will go over the 10 tips that have kind of helped me curate my collection. It has changed quite a bit since the last time I filmed a fragrance collection video, I think a year and a half ago or something like that. If you would like me to update that video and do a new fragrance collection, actually I think I'll just do it. <laughs> so yeah, stick around for that, that will be coming soon. Maybe I'll split it into like warm weather fragrances and cold weather fragrances. Just because I have quite a number of fragrances now, if I go through all of them in one video, it might be too long. Anyway, we'll see. We'll figure it out. But yeah, let's get into the tips. Tip number one is to figure out which fragrance notes you absolutely love or you're constantly drawn towards. And you can do this in multiple ways. The first way is if you already own fragrances, maybe you have one that you really like, look it up on Fragrantica and find out which notes I in that fragrance, is it, is it like a floral fragrance? Is it aromatic? Is it woody? Is it spicy? And try and figure out, you know, what fragrance profiles do you like? If you don't already own a fragrance, that's fine. Don't fret. There's fragrance all around us. So look into other products around you, especially those that like go on your body or close to your body. For example, what shower gels do you gravitate towards? Do you gravitate towards vanilla ones or <laughs> or floral ones or fruity ones? Also things like deodorant. What type of deodorant do you gravitate towards? Do you pick? Um, same thing with uh, body lotions, body oils, body mists, all of that stuff. What do you gravitate towards? Do you look for fruity notes? Do you, you find yourself going for sweet vanilla fragrances? Do you find yourself going for fresh florals such things will let you know also um if you don't have scented body care you can look into the stuff that you put in your clothes for example if you use fabric softener what fragrance do you choose for the fabric softener because those clothes do end up on your body so if if, for example, you choose a lavender one or a cool air breeze or warm cotton and it's it goes onto your clothes and you wear them and you like the way they smell, that should be an indicator of the type of fragrances you like. And then the next layer is home fragrances. So look at candles, air fresheners, things like stain removal products for your, for your couch or something of the sort, even your laundry detergent that you use for you know, um, your drips, all of that. Any home fragrance type of product, go and look at what types of scents you gravitate towards. So if it's candles, are you picking up very floral candles? Are you gravitating towards more woody, marine-like? Or do you go towards the citrus ones? So basically do an analysis of the fragrances that are already around you and then figure out which fragrance notes and categories are you gravitating towards that will inform you when you go into the world of fragrance it will inform what you will buy first because the world of fragrance can be very um, intimidating there's fragrances for almost any fragrance type so if you walk in blind it might become a bit too intimidating and you might give up but when you already know what you already gravitate towards you can narrow down your search and say you know i figure that i actually like florals so when you go smell fragrances you can tell the attendant uh, which nice floral would you recommend as opposed to just walking in blind and smelling everything 
<laughs> that can be a bit intimidating. Tip number two builds upon tip number one, and it is to start with a versatile fragrance. So based on the fragrance notes that you have discovered that you gravitate towards, now go ahead and find one fragrance that falls in that category and that is very versatile, that you can wear every single day for any occasion. It's appropriate for the office, it's appropriate for date night, it's appropriate for brunch, it's appropriate for a wedding, it's appropriate for a business meeting. <laughs> Go and find your one versatile fragrance that like fits the bill that basically embodies you based on what you've discovered from tip number one. I'll give a few examples. So for example, for me, <laughs> I'll use examples of uh, fragrances that I already own because that's what I have in front of me. I gravitate towards clean scents. I love um, ocean scents. I love woody scents. I love aromatic scents. I love citrus scents. So all these tend to be very fresh leaning. So already my home fragrances, body care fragrances, um, candles lean in that direction. And therefore, so do my fragrances. So for example, this fabric softener is a clean ocean breeze scent and i also have a candle <laughs> that leans in that direction ocean air and moss i absolutely mm, I love burning this candle so again it is no surprise that i would love a fragrance like wood sage and sea salt by joe malone which is a woody marine um aromatic fragrance it's very fresh it feels like you're just you know smelling ocean breeze by a rocky beach so that already makes sense <laughs> based on the things that i already gravitate towards i'll give another example for body care i do have this um bath oil and it's very citrus leaning and i do also have plenty of citrus candles around the house this is one that i really like it's a white bun um, midnight blue citrus very lovely so again, it's not shocking that I own a citrus fragrance. This is Lo De Neroli by Diptyque. And it's a very bright, sparkling citrus. I love this for summer. And again, as you can tell from what I already love wearing, it's not surprising that I would own this fragrance and enjoy it. I'll give another example. Um, for the deodorant, I went for... Uh, it's like a clean, mineral, very clean <laughs> scent. It just smells like you just took a shower. It smells like soap. So again, it's no surprise that I would like a fragrance like Chanel No. 5 Low. And this smells like clean laundry. Yeah, clean laundry straight from the dryer. It's soapy. It's clean. It's fresh. has a bit of citrus. So basically, as you can tell, Based on what you figured out you already like from tip number one, you can then go ahead and find fragrances that are very versatile that you can wear all year long that lean into that category that you absolutely love. I'll give two more examples. If you find that you love fresh florals, like fresh roses, you could then go ahead and buy a floral fragrance. This is Diptyque or Rose. This is my favorite fresh floral um, fragrance it smells like a bouquet of flowers that's very fresh and dewy there's some wateringness <laughs> some dewiness in this that i absolutely enjoy and then for the people who find themselves liking sweet vanilla fragrances you might try something like keali vanilla 28 this is a very um sweet brown sugar vanilla fragrance and it's very versatile you can wear this all year round um, I think it's appropriate for all occasions. Basically, you want to make sure that your signature fragrance is very versatile. And that's tip number two. <laughs> tip number three, now that you have your signature scent, it is time to add some variation. And the next scent I would recommend you buy is a special occasion one. And this can be a, an elevated version of your signature scent. So for example, if you went with Keali Vanilla 28, which is brown sugar, it's sweet, it's soft, it's endearing. It's appropriate for all 
times of day, all weather. So you could go for something like Gentle Fluidity Gold by MFK. And this is also a vanilla fragrance, but it's slightly more aromatic, slightly more boozy. It's more sophisticated, more expensive as well, and it translates in how it wears. So this can be what you gravitate towards for date night or for a wedding or a special occasion and then this can be your everyday fragrance another example if for example you choose to go the floral route um your signature scent could be diptychs or rose which is fresh floral can be worn every day even in cold weather it still smells really good but then for your special occasion you could elevate and go with something like delina by parfums de mali which is another fresh floral but it's more complex it's slightly sweeter it has some fruits in there there's some vanilla there's some woods this is a very complex fragrance <laughs> it's so beautiful it gets lots of compliments as well yeah it's basically like a bougie sister to diptychs or rose so you can wear this for your special occasions for date nights and then wear this every other day now, for most people at this point, you're probably already comfortable with two fragrances. But if you want to keep curating your collection and, you know, getting more and more fragrances, let's go over to tip number four. And tip number four is to now evaluate your lifestyle and then add more variation to your fragrances. It kind of builds on tip number two where you added a special occasion um, fragrance option from your signature scent so now you're just adding more variation and the variation will be based on your type of lifestyle so for example if you work in an office maybe you could pick an office scent or maybe you like two different types of um, olfactive families maybe you like florals but you also like sweet fragrances so maybe you had begun with um, vanilla 28 as your signature and then this became your special occasion but you also like florals so this maybe is the point where you could bring in like adelina to be your floral girl and then now you have three fragrances basically evaluate um your lifestyle maybe you live in an area where there's extremely hot summers and then extremely cold winters so you want to have variation in your fragrances that you can wear in extreme high heat and also in very cold winters so maybe you want to have um, a fresh citrus for your summers and maybe you want to have a really sweet vanilla for your winters so basically just evaluate your lifestyle and then build up categories based on your lifestyle tip number five comes in handy as you begin to build this variation and it's to take advantage of sales of samples and of dupes <laughs> as you build out your collection you want to be smart with your money as you build out your collection because fragrances can be very expensive so take advantage of for example samples try before you buy i usually have so many samples <laughs> around the house with me um, and I will try fragrances before I commit to a full bottle. You can check out um, houses that do dupes or inspired by fragrances. For example, the House of Dossier. This is um, Oriental Cherry, which I think is now called Ambari Cherry. And this is their variation of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, which I recently um, got a travel size of. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> it is cost effective to go with the dupe house especially if it's a fragrance that you don't think you will love <laughs> or maybe if it's one that you're pushing the envelope or maybe you won't wear often it isn't your signature scent it's just for adding a bit of variation that's when maybe you should settle for a, a sample or maybe a travel size or maybe go for an inspired buy or a dupe or look for sales <laughs> shop during black friday sales end of year sales go to discount websites like fragrance net uh, fragrance x fragrance buy.ca joma shop i'll try link as many of, of them in the <laughs> description down below and that way you can be smart about it another way is to go with retailers where you can return fragrances so for example sephora nordstrom macy's they allow you to return opened boxes so if, for example, you're doing a blind buy, you know, you're not very sure if you like the fragrance. Sometimes you might want to skip on going with the discount site 
because you normally can't return opened um boxes to discount sites and maybe just commit and buy full price or maybe look for a sale like the sephora sale and then buy from sephora and then if you don't like it you could return it after you try it basically explore your <laughs> your options here and try and be money smart about how you're building your collection and how you're trying things out and experimenting tip number six is to pay attention to the fragrance notes that you're liking which ones do you smell and you, you have a very strong aversion to and you just want to you know never wear it again scrub it off return the fragrance pay attention to what you're liking and what you're not liking that way you can begin to in your head <laughs> figure out which fragrance notes do you love for example for me i know i absolutely love woody fragrances i love tobacco scents i love citrus scents i love um clean fresh oceanic marine like scents i love cool spices like cardamom um i love aromatics like sage and lavender so i already know when i see a fragrance that has for example cardamom and sage and woods i'm like okay yeah that might work out but if i see a fragrance that has notes that i don't like i'll already know that i shouldn't blind buy it even if everyone seems to love it i should maybe wait until i can go to a store and smell it for myself and even if i like it at the store i should maybe get a sample first and wear it on myself for a full day before I can commit to a full purchase just because i know those notes don't really work for me so yeah basically pay attention <laughs> always check on fragrantica look at the fragrance on the fragrance houses site check out the notes and basically just begin to build your knowledge around what you like and what you don't like it will make your exploration easier <laughs> tip number seven is to layer your fragrances <laughs> by this point you probably have a few in your arsenal and it's time to have fun because fragrance is a fun exploration <laughs> of scent so layer them layer your fragrances if you have two fragrances that both have vanilla layer them and see what happens if you have a fresh one and you have a spicy one or a woody one layer them and see what happens basically play around <laughs> with fragrances sometimes it won't work out but sometimes you will create very intriguing fragrances and maybe even when you layer them you'll figure out oh i actually love some notes together so maybe if you have a floral and then you layer it with a citrus you might be like oh i actually like fresh florals or maybe if you add the vanilla to it you might be like oh i actually like sweet florals you will discover things you will discover things you will discover your the things that you love, what you gravitate towards, you will shake it up, <laughs> keep things interesting. <laughs> I love layering fragrances. It's always a fun experience because in the morning when I'm choosing my fragrance, who knows what I'll end up smelling like. I could go with one fragrance or I could layer three. Who knows? <laughs> it is an, a form of art. So have fun and layer fragrances. Tip number eight is to take your time. Take your time to build up your collection don't try and do it in a week in a month in three months it's just going to become overwhelming and that's not fun it's supposed to be a fun process so take your time also as you get into the world of fragrance you will see that your your nose will change you might start liking stuff that you didn't like before or stop liking stuff that you already liked before so take your time allow yourself to evolve allow your fragrance tastes to evolve and change and just yeah take your time tip number nine is to not follow trends or the hype make sure you're not um feeling pressure to buy something just because it's new and everyone's talking about it stay true to the things that you actually love the thing with trends is that they don't last and if you buy something just because it's trendy then will you wear it three months down the line or was it like a waste of money <laughs> so you want to only buy the stuff that you know you truly love and you will enjoy and wear and get your money's worth the final tip um uh, i think this is the most important one and it sums up all the other tips is to enjoy the process like i've mentioned i think multiple times in this video fragrance is a joyous experience it's a form of art and you should enjoy the process of curating your fragrance collection it shouldn't be something that causes you stress it should be something that's slow and joyous and brings you peace and lets you experiment and explore your creativity 
So please enjoy the process. And that's it. Those are my 10 tips on how to curate your fragrance collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see what collections you guys come up with. Please let me know which which ones you already have in your collection if you have one already what's your favorite fragrance currently let me know in the comments down below also um do follow me on my other social media platforms on instagram on tiktok zillennial life on all platforms and thank you for sticking around also keep your eyes open for the fragrance collection video and the layering video and let me know if you want to see any other fragrance videos let me know in the comments what you'd like to see and yeah thank you again um like comment share subscribe all the good jars spread the fragrant love and i will see you on the next video bye